Avar Chris was a human female and a Jedi Master during the era of the High Republic. Respected among her peers as being noble and selfless, and many looked to her as an inspiration on what a Jedi Knight should be. Chris was gifted with the ability to view the Force and detect bonds between users, and when located, she could strengthen them and allow them to communicate. This ability, like battle meditation, was rare and was best used to transmit locations and sensations. Chris would wield a green bladed lightsaber with a handle of silver and white. Chris's lightsaber also supported a cross guard like that of Kylo Ren's in the era of the First Order. Stellan Geos was a human male Jedi Master who worked closely with Avar Chris, and the two could be considered true champions of the Jedi Order. Formerly an apprentice to Master Rana Kant, Stellan would often be the voice of reason on missions of the Jedi, and during these missions if the situation called for it, Stellan would wield a blue crossguard lightsaber that would fold up when not in use. Elzar Mann was another human male Jedi, and was the third link to the force bond of Avar and Stellan, and of course himself. Elzar was a Jedi alchemist of sorts and loved to experiment with the Force, often making him unreliable, as he would take great risks to push his use of Force to its limits. Elzar would support a blue lightsaber, and the hilt was more of the traditional way with no crossguard. Porter Engel, also known as the Blade of Bardota, was a male Ikrukian and a Jedi Master. He was considered a legend in his time with the Jedi Order, with stories yet to be read from the Jedi Archives. He would eventually step down from the Order and live his life as a humble cook, his true passion in life. Briaga Agaberi was a male Wookiee then Padawan to Jedi Master Nib Asik. Nib had to learn Sharuk to communicate with Briaga. Still, very young for his Wookiee age, Briaga had a strong sense for the Force and could even sense things in the Cosmic Force masters such as Avar and Nib could not even see. And Jedi Master Nib Asik was a human female Jedi Master and very respected among her peers. When a young Wookiee was accepted into the Order, many Masters turned heads with the daunting task of learning the difficult language the Wookiees possess. Nib was unfazed and took Briaga into apprenticeship, and Nib was also considered an ace pilot and would use a Jedi Vector on many missions. Taomi was a female Dorosh Jedi Knight, and Taomi, like many other Jedi, found her kyber crystal on Elam, a blue crystal that she would put in a Cerakote and Copper Hill. Taomi would not refurbish her saber through her many missions, which she was proud of, and thought it symbolized the force and what it was, that no matter what it being looked like on the outside, inside, everyone was made of light. Loden Greatstorm was a Twi'lek Jedi Master and was renowned for his skills as a teacher to the young Knights of the Order. Sporting a yellow saber and powerful in telekinesis, Greatstorm would be the master to Bell Zedifar, a very young human male Padawan who was granted permission to have a Charhound named Ember. Bell would wield a green saber into many missions of the Jedi. There's a handful of new characters in Light of the Jedi, and as we move forward with many more books of the High Republic series, I look forward to exploring each and every single one of their backstories and sharing them with you. May the Force be with you. Always.